Let's talk about Golovkin. More like Golov can't, can't beat Jamal Charlo. Oh! So what I really liked was at the end of the fight, uh, Max Kellerman um, uh, made a point. Um, Max Kellerman's the best. He uh, pointed out that Golovkin, what he did against Vaughn is in round two, which is all of a sudden he was like, okay, I'm done messing around. He's I'm like, going to win this fight. He walked forward and just walked through. Like, he didn't care what was going to be thrown at him. He, he knew in his head what punches were going to throw, and he was ending the fight. And that kind of, um, what do you want to call that? Like, uh, um, Velocity. Yeah, like intentional, like, I'm walking forward, I'm doing this. Um, Some would just call that McCarson. No. Hell yeah. <laughs> and that this is what we saw from Golovkin up until he fought um, Jacobs and Canelo. Right, because those and, guys are pretty elite. Those yeah, people. so you have like a, he, he, the, his opponent, right? Huge step up in skill on his same level, but then he lost some of that. And what Max said was, well, what if Golovkin, it makes sense not to just walk forward against a highly skilled opponent and yeah. not care what's coming back at you. you, you you're going to be smart, but what if he had just a little bit of that? Like a little bit of that, I'm going to like go and get Well, I this. think we would have had a definitive winner in the Canelo fight because either Canelo would have knocked him out. Or Golovkin would have not come out. Uh, yeah. You know, he would have forced the issue. Part of that fight, like, people... Was maybe two fighters who wouldn't force the issue? I you thought Canelo that? fought pretty well. Okay. He just, like, Golovkin's a really good boxer and he's a really good fighter. And Canelo can't sell out to try to get to Golovkin. But what it can do, and what Canelo's game really is, built around, is counterpunching. Mm -hmm. And so he needed Golovkin to come forward and make the fight. And Golovkin didn't really want to do that because he tasted some of the shots in the fight, and so I thought it was a fair draw, because I'm brilliant. So do you think that Golovkin could take a little bit of uh, what he brings to lesser skilled opponents? He could, to but he could, then he risks getting knocked, knocked out. I mean, so... Do you see a way that he wins that, like... Yeah, because he hits really hard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that, like... Um, I think the reason why he doesn't do it is because why well, everybody doesn't do it, right? Mm -hmm. But that if he did do that and force the issue, maybe against the kind of fighter Canelo is, he gets to Canelo more and like wins more convincingly or wins by knockout. And I'm not saying necessarily that Canelo would knock him out if he did that. I'm saying that like he would at least hurt him more and um, win the fight in that way. Do you feel like um, Golovkin, so after the fight, well, leading up to this, there's been some, maybe, some wavering on, like, the Canelo side. Like, the, the idea of a rematch seems... I don't think there's likely. wavering on Canelo's side. No? No, he wants to fight. He's okay. Pissed.